What is up guys, this is Kiran here. Welcome back again to Tech Kiran YouTube channel. Octavia OS Android 11 based custom room is already available for a lot of devices. I already made a video on Octavia OS V1.1 which was available for a lot of devices and this one is Octavia OS V1.2 official version which has some a lot of huge UI changes actually also some features added. Which are those features, how this room going on, I've installed it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro you can see which is based on Android version 11 with the latest November security patch. It's officially available for a lot of devices. I'm just reviewing it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro. Previously I reviewed it on my Redmi Note 8. The links for all of the devices is in the description. This is the official build. Which other things you get here? Let's get started. Guys, I have not tested this Octavia USB 1.2 official on my Redmi Note 8 or any other devices but in this build in my Redmi Note 9 Pro, if I click here you will see this kind of thing, don't you dare touch my phone which looks interesting. Also you can see there is a difference here, the phone is here, the layout is a little bit of change here which is not actually properly customized so it might be some bugs you can say all about preferences. Also have these kind of icons looking interesting are already available and the UI is also changed and this one is universal UI is already changed when v1.1 you can check out my review the previous review you will see there will be a UI changes here and there if you go for some things this is Octavius and this is the default wallpaper which you can see and this is the same like the boot animation I'm using the G apps build on my Redmi Note 9 Pro so as expected we have the pixel launcher pre-installed which has some cool kind of features like swipe to access the Google app add app icons on the home screen also this pin app feature also option is also available here and like the previous one we have these three by three layout already on the quick settings which you can customize if you want to but if you have noticed this time there is no rounded ua this is kind of rectangular ua and the clock is here in the previous build the clock was not here but in this build clock is here so as i already mentioned you there is some ua changes here and there and this is one of those changes if you talk about moving on to some cool kind of other things I'm using Gcam here, so Gcam is perfectly fine, so you can also use the Gcam if you want to. The Gcam which I'm using in my device, the link for this Gcam is also in the description. If you want to try out this Gcam, you can use that. This is on those Gcams which I regularly use, which has almost every feature working fine here. If you go for advanced, you'll see the dirty lens warning, HDR plus control option is available here. We have the Ultra HD 4K resolution in video recording, video stabilization, optical stabilization. If you go for the advanced settings, Google Photos you can disable and disable zoom in portrait mode. Some cool kind of features are available if you want to try out this Gcam. The link for this Gcam is in the description. Now let's move on to some cool kind of things in settings. As I already mentioned, it's almost same like the Octavi V1.1 which has a very cool kind of battery backup and a lot more things but has some UI changes. So we are just going to talk about some of those UI changes uh, but nonetheless, if you go for the display settings, there are no changes in display. I was expecting some changes but I just got one change here which is called a color bucket which is device default by the way. So I don't know about this thing if it is available in all the Octavios V1.2 but this is available in Mia Tool devices. I'm using it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro and the Mia Tool devices are Redmi Note 9S, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro. If you're using any of these devices, you'll get these kind of features for sure. Now let's talk about these Octavi Lab which is which has a lot of features and Octavi Lab UI is fully changed. Let me show you. You can see there is a thing to welcome and this is the default UI which is now changed which was not present in the previous one. In the previous one the UI was changed. If you don't know about that UI just go and check out my previous video on this Octavi OS. You'll get an idea that how that UI looked like. Octavi Lab the UI is changed of course some features are added here too. Octavi Lab has this theming called RGB ASIN picker you can customize also has a power menu related customizations which were available in the previous build also but the navigation bar customizations are now available only which was not present in the previous build and as you can see some layout changes available here and there. I don't know why it's just in my case or in just my device maybe in your device it will be fine but in my case it has some of these kind of things also has the quick settings customizations which were not present in the previous build so as I already told you some customizations are changed here too. 
Talking about the lock screen customizations, in the previous Octavi OS V1.1 lock screen had no customizations, only these three were there. But now we have the media art added here, which have the weather customizations options available too. So two new things are added in this build. Going for the buttons, in the previous build we had but volume button customizations only include the playback control and volume rocker wake. But now we have the option to customize the volume panel style, which was not present in the previous one. So if you go for other things, let me show you about the status bar. In the previous build, almost same icons are present there, almost same thing, same UI, same thing, same features are available. And if you go for battery styles, this is something new which was not present in the previous build. So this is also new called battery styles and at last miscellaneous has only the wake up on charge and swipe to screenshot. If you want a customizable room with cool kind of battery backup, a very interesting and unique UI, you can go and give this room a try. The link for this build is in the description. For some devices, it's available with Google Apps. For some devices, it's available as a vanilla build, which means without Google Apps. So depends upon the device which you use, you can download that build and install right now on a device. This is all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.